You can't see it, smell it, or even feel it. But all around us, signals from radio stations, TV channels, and data from the internet flow through what's known as the electromagnetic spectrum. Smarter use of it could mean better and cheaper connectivity for millions more people around the world. Here's the situation. As our daily lives depend more and more on our smartphones, the amount of data we're using is increasing exponentially. Most of that comes from video traffic, and it looks like we'll be watching a whole lot more in the future thanks to video on demand services and live streaming. Without being able to access more bandwidth for our mobile devices, we can expect more drop calls, more crashed applications, and more interruptions to our favorite shows, which is why mobile operators are desperate to access more of the airwaves to meet the demand, and why they're also willing to pay millions, if not billions, to get their hands on it. So, how does the spectrum work? Over 300 years ago, Isaac Newton determined that sunlight passing through a prism splits into the colors of the rainbow. He called this the spectrum. But this fan of color is only the visible part. There's much more you can't see. The total electromagnetic spectrum ranges from very short to very long waves. The shorter waves with high frequencies are used for things like x-rays and airport scanners. These carry lots of data at faster speeds, so are good for streaming things like data-heavy video. Longer waves of low frequency are used in radio communications and satellite transmission. They're better at traveling long distances and penetrating buildings, meaning carriers can reach more customers. Mobile carriers naturally want both, but they have to go through governments to get it. Why? Because of the Titanic. In 1912, radio confusion meant an iceberg warning didn't get through to the unsinkable ship. After that, the United States started regulating the airwaves, a practice that governments around the world adopted. By controlling how spectrum is used, governments are also able to make money from licensing it. Here's the argument. Not so long ago, video streaming on apps like Facebook Live and Netflix was nearly impossible on lower speed 3G networks. As carriers advance to the faster internet speeds of 5G, they'll need to access more of the spectrum's frequencies. Some of this could come from bandwidth once used for broadcast TV. Download speeds and coverage will improve. A curse if you already think you spend too much time on your screen. <laughs>